Hey there guys, it's Paul Archer from dronesgator.com and this will be a quick overview of the new update for the DJI Spark. Let's first sort out what major differences we're interested in. First of all, they have changed the photo resolution when in gesture mode. As before, it wasn't making the most out of the 12 megapixel camera it has on board. Now the pictures are in 4K resolution with way more details than before. Here we have a picture with Darth Vader in person, who's definitely not me. As you can see, the image resolution was Full HD when taken in gesture mode before the update. The foliage doesn't have any detail and the subject, even though pretty close to the drone, doesn't have much detail to add to it. Compared to a picture taken recently in gesture mode that has 4K resolution, you can notice a considerable improvement in foliage sharpness and even though I was far from the camera, I still got some nice sharp details. By the way, thanks to the new app update, which I'll cover in a new video shortly, you can now change between video and photo while in gesture mode by the press of a button. Besides the improved photo feature, there's yet another one that improves the Spark Arsenal. The 180 degree panoramic shot option is quite cool if you're looking to get a very wide and high quality image of your surroundings. And what else can you use a drone if not for taking beautiful landscape pictures? As you may know from the other landscape panoramic modes from before, the drone starts taking multiple pictures and after it saves them, you can edit and merge them together either in the app directly and then download them in your computer. Or even better yet, DJI has released a new panorama and timeless creator that can do this directly from your computer. You can do this by uploading the folder with the photos from the drone itself. To learn how to do this and use this program, go on the link in the description or go on dronesgator.com, type maker in the search bar and check out the process explained. There's also a few tricks to make things faster and a link to download the program. Both the DJI GO 4 app and the DJI Media Maker will remove propellers from the image and the results will be like this. The new 180 degree panorama can be selected by going here, selecting camera options and choosing the 180 degree panoramic mode. Make sure you aren't in gesture mode during this or else you won't see any options here. Then you just press the photo button and let the drone do its job. Spark will adjust the exposure from the first shot and then keep it the same for all the pictures. So make sure you don't have the camera oriented at too dark or too light spot at first, but neutral compared to the other image. This should be about it. I'll do more videos regarding the DJ Spark update soon. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you want to get a chance to get in the next drone giveaway, go on dronesgear.com and leave your cool opinion and rating down below and I might pick you as the next month's giveaway winner.